Hey guys, um, I'm here to tell you my thoughts on this book I just finished. It's called Break by Hannah Moskowitz. And I never even heard about this book before or this author. But Krista from Cubicle Blindness was reading um, Invincible Summer, I think. Is that by the same author? And of course, it doesn't tell me. No, because this is her first book. Um, yeah, I believe that's the book she was reading by her. Sorry about that. And anyways, I went to my on my library's website to see if they had it, and the only book they had by that author was Break. So I picked this one up. It's a contemporary novel. Um, it's about a serious subject, and it actually says, and I was reading the back the back page about the author. It says, if all goes well, Hannah Moskowitz will be out of high school by the time you read this. She can't cook, likes to play dress up, and has never broken a bone. Break is her first novel. And I thought that was really interesting. I always love reading about the author um, and the books there. This was published in 2009. So, if that's right, she wrote her first book when she was in high school. And I think that's great when any uh, young kid, teenager, young adult, what have you, um, has goals and does things like this. Um, and isn't just out partying all the time and just trying to get by. Um, even though that's what I did. And I regret it. You know, hindsight tells you a lot. Um, anyway, about the book. The back of it says, Jonah is on a mission to break every bone in his body. Everyone knows that broken bones grow back stronger than they were before. Jonah wants to be stronger, needs to be stronger, because everything around him is falling apart. Breaking and then healing is the only way he can cope with the stresses of home, girls, and the world on his shoulders. When Jonah's self-destructive spiral accelerates and he hits rock bottom, will he find true strength or surrender to his breaking point? This book was so well written. Um, such a good, good, good book. And, you know, once again, a, a young teen wrote it, and that is just even more amazing to me. Um, but yeah, it's about this this kid named Jonah. He's 17 years old. And the story opens up based with him uh, hurting himself. But you don't realize at first that that's what he's doing. Um, you, you discover it really soon, but still. And throughout the book, you're not even exactly 100% sure why he is doing this, but yeah, he does. He's on a goal. He has a goal of breaking all the bones in his body. Not at one time, but yes, he's keeping a record of it. His uh, best friend, Naomi, is videotaping it, and yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, he has a younger brother that's 16 at home that is, has food allergies, and he's like allergic to everything. Um, I mean, it, it's really, really, really bad. And so, of course, Jonah... Uh, tries to take care of him, and then they have an eight-month-old brother that is colicky, and he cries non-stop. So their house is like chaotic. It, it, it's just so bad. And Jonah has his best friend, like I said, Naomi, and then there's a girl, Charlotte, that he's kind of with, but he always says it's not his girlfriend, um, even though they sure act like it. Um, and so he's trying to take care of everything and he just can't do it I mean who can um and his brother you know during the book his brother has um some episodes he ends up in the hospital you know he has reactions um it's just so hard because you can't even touch his brother um because if you've touched something or didn't wash your hands beforehand just by touching him he can just break out into hives real bad and stuff. So, Jonah, you know, he ends up having broken ribs and a broken hand and this and that all at one time. And then people start to get curious and people start to get suspicious. And it just kind of snowballs. And before you know it, he ends up in a mental hospital, psychiatric ward uh, for teens. Uh, for an evaluation and that's when everything hits him really really hard and he kind of really looks at his life um, but 
it's not enough. It's not enough. And something happens there. Um, and he actually reaches rock bottom. He actually, something really bad happens um, at the very end. And it just is such an eye opener. Such an, I mean, if that wasn't an eye opener, he wouldn't be here anymore. Um, he just tried to carry everything on his shoulders and he just couldn't do it. And it was his way of coping. And he actually, um, Confucius, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, says that a family unit cannot be broken down into anything smaller. And so Jonah, you know, if you break your bone, when it heals, it actually heals, it's actually stronger than what it was. And so that's all in Jonah's mind. So he's thinking that if he breaks his bones and they heal stronger, his family unit, his family is actually going to be stronger. Um, and it doesn't make sense to an outsider, but to him it makes perfect sense. And so, yeah, so the story is just, it's very deep. It's very disturbing, you know. You hear about people cutting themselves and they have a breaking their own bones. Wow. Um, so, yeah, it, it was a very good book. It was very well written. I never read anything like this. I mean, I've read about cutting and stuff and not breaking their own bones. Um, the end really got to me because it was very intense. Uh, the characters were well written. Um, very, very well written. Um, the mom and dad play a role in this, and I like that too when the mom and dad are present. Um, and it's not just the kids trying to take on the world. Um, so yeah, I definitely would recommend this book um, if you like contemporary books, if you like, you know, the, the deep subject matter of it all. I definitely would recommend this book. Um, Break by Hannah Moskowitz. And I'm sorry that this is a short thing on my thoughts on this book. I just am not feeling well. So I wanted to get it out there, though, before I started my next book. So, all right, you guys, have a good one. Bye.